so I know it's been like weeks since I've been here and I miss you guys like crazy. I miss making videos and I just have so much to share with y'all and I've just been so busy. You'll have to forgive me. Um, I started school earlier this month and I go to school, cosmetology school, like 18 month, 18 months, 18 hours a month. Uh, <laughs> 18 hours a week and I work full-time now I work like 40 plus hours a week with tons of overtime and I'm always so tired and I just have like zero free time and if I do have free time I just want to spend it sleeping or bathing or something because I, I need to catch up on it but um anyway since I've been gone forever I thought I'd do a more fun video I've really been wanting to do more Halloween tutorials for you guys um I know Halloween's in a couple days but they just are so time consuming to think it out, plan it, do it, edit it, upload it. It takes forever. And I know I also promised paranormal vlogs and I do want to do more. I was requested to do one on my house next. So that'll be the next one and I want to do that. Anyways, I went to Sally's three times this week. Um, the school that I go to, we don't have kits. Like most cosmetology schools have like kits that you have to buy for like a thousand dollars or something. They have all your hot tools and like everything you'd need in like a kit there and we don't have those at my school so you just buy your own stuff but they have stuff at the school for us to use but I wanted to start building up my own kit because I made a friend there and um, <clears throat> he gave me really good advice he said start building up your kit now just every paycheck either buy a few cheap things or like one expensive thing and then by the time you graduate you'll have everything you need and I thought that was so ingenious because most people wait until they're completely done and they have to drop like a thousand plus dollars on stuff all at once and they're just like oh my god but if you break it up it's not as bad and I went to Sally's three different times this week because Sally's is like really close to my school and every I don't know like I really wasn't excited about the whole cosmetology school thing since I started before I started but for some reason this week it just I went into overdrive and I'm just like super excited about it now like I can't wait to start doing more hair and makeup and everything and I'm just so pumped about it so everything that I bought is hair related I haven't bought anything for my um I want to make a freelance hair uh, not hair but makeup and nail kit and I haven't gotten those yet I want to start out with hair since that's what I'm doing most of at the moment and yeah, I went to Sally's and I got my 10% off student card and until the end of October, every time you spend 20 plus dollars, we'll give you 15% off, which is really cool. So I've been getting 25% off of everything and they have really good deals and sales going on right now. So I just went crazy. I literally went three times this week. I went today, yesterday and Tuesday. And every time I go in there, they're like, oh, you're back. So they know me by name now. Anyway, I've been rambling for several minutes, but I just wanted to explain why I bought so much stuff and everything. But I really got a lot of this stuff for great deals. I will tell you how much I spent on everything for anyone else out there who wants to do cosmetology or hair freelance or is in cosmetology school right now or is thinking about going into it or you just want to buy your own personal kit, how much um, <clears throat> everything is. And everything I got was really like funky and fun and I'm really excited about everything. I... I'm pretty boring, but when it comes to beauty stuff, I'm not. So anyway, I need to shut up. <laughs> so keep in mind, this is all three different trips. So first off, I got some perm stuff. And I know you're probably like, what the hell, perm stuff? Why are you buying perm stuff? Well, at my school, um, if you've ever been to cosmetology school, you know that a lot of old ladies come in and what did they want done to their hair? Perms and roller sets and like tint retouches and things like that. So we do a lot of practice perms and stuff there and I just wanted you know some perm rods so I could practice on somebody or something but I'll explain more later I'm not gonna explain in this video because I'll just ramble forever but basically I got some rollers <clears throat> I got three packs of these salon care all the rollers that I got are salon care brand which looks like these and they come in like a green package and they're just perm rods these are, I want to tell you the sizes but I'm not sure which is the size and which is the length Okay, I got three of these. They're just the white ones. Like most beauticians know them by the color because usually the color is the same size universally. Universal, universal, I don't know. But I got three packs of these. They each come with 12 and they're about, you know, that big compared to my hand, if that makes any sense. And these are really cheap. Like every single size is only like $2. 
So I got three. Each pack comes with 12. And you normally need about 30 to 40, depending on how much hair the person has or how big the, the curler rod things are per head. So I thought that three would be good for one head. And I also got um, a pack of those that are the same diameter but they're shorter so these are good for like bangs or baby hair so you can like tell the difference how they're just a bit shorter <clears throat> and then today I noticed that they had really big perming perm rods and I was so excited because I know that they use these in like beach perms and I want to learn how to do the beach wave perm so bad and there's a student instructor that goes there and she says she does beach perms all the time and I want her to teach me so bad so I found these and they're called Jumbo Rods. They're also by Salon Care. There's a pack of six and they're pretty big. Let me show you. They're very, very big. And she said that she uses three different sizes and about 12 um, rollers per head when she does these. So I got two packs of the biggest ones because I don't know, if I ever did it on myself, I have a lot of hair. They were just a couple bucks each. And then I also got a pack each of the next two sizes down from that. So like the black ones, and then these green ones. <laughs> I really wish I was more helpful. If you guys want to know the exact size, I will look more into it and I will tell you. But those are super cheap. I also got a pack of the Mariana, Mariana, something like that, Permod Replacement Bands, which just looks like this. They're just like the little black bands that go on there. There are 12 in here and it was like 50 cents for a bag. And after you use perm rods a few times, the bands get worn out and they snap them in half and then you have to replace them. So I thought that was a good deal. I also got this Ion Brand Color Brilliance Liquid Step Up to Perfection thing. I don't know why I'm reading it to you, but it's just like a little slanted applicator and this is what you kind of the bottle that you use to put on perm solution I'm not going to be using legit perm solution on somebody but I'll just fill it up with water and like pretend so I can just get the hang of like putting it on and this was only like a dollar something so I thought I also got a box of the Sally brand uh, professional jumbo end wraps which you have to use when you roll perms and they go around the ends to um, make it so they don't get fried or anything and this is a box of 1000 sheets and it was only like $2 and some change, which is a great deal. We These are the ones that we use at school, and I really like these. I hate the small ones, so I like those a lot. I also got some packs of clips because if you do hair, you know that clips come in handy. And at first I grabbed, these are Salon Care brand again, these black and white ones. There's a pack of 12. Yeah, these are just butterfly clips. There's a pack of 12 in here, black and white. And I thought that was a good deal. They were like $2, and I want to say like maybe $0.30 cents or something. And then later on, I noticed that that same brand had the same clips in pink, and these were on sale for a dollar because they were pink for breast cancer, and October's almost over, so they're on sale. And I forgot to put these ones back, so now I have 24 clips, which is awesome because I lose these like crazy, so whatever. You can never have too many clips. And I got this shampoo cape because every time I do someone's hair, I feel really bad because I don't have any like uh, vinyl capes or anything. And I always either make them wear like an old shirt or something and I just feel bad because like it gets all down their neck and like it seeps through and it like ruins their bras and I just feel so bad. So I saw this really cute shampoo cape and I asked the lady there and since it's vinyl you can also use it with color. It might stain it but you can always disinfect and wash it and everything. And it's really cool. It's by the Betty Dane brand. And I only really bought this too because it was on sale. They were two for $8. And they're normally $8.99 a piece. And I was like, why is it cheaper to buy two? But I didn't need two. So I just bought one. So I spent $4. And I saved five. And blah, blah, blah. You guys don't care. But anyway, it's just, it's really, really cool. It's waterproof. has a Velcro closure. So, you know, it could literally work for any size neck. And it's such a cute pattern. It's black and it has like little tattoo roses on it that say love. You probably can't tell, but you can get the general gist. And I love flowers and I love tattoos. So I loved this. So any of my clients out there who are watching, you can now can have something legit. <clears throat> I also got this cute little I also got this cute little sprayer bottle. It's like neon orange. It looks pink on here, but it's neon orange. And I just thought it was so cute because you have to have spray bottles for so many things. Like if you do like men's cut or if you cut like ends sometimes or bangs or um, if you do perms, the hair has to be completely saturated. So we use water bottles all the time, but this one is so cute. Like I love it. And in the middle, there's like a little coil that wraps around. And oh my god, I just thought it was so cute. It was only like $3, so I had to get it. They also had neon green and purple. They did not have pink. 
But the green one was all scratched up and the purple one was like really ugly. So I also got a bunch of things as far as like hair coloring goes because that's my favorite thing to do in hair is color it. Oh, by the way, mine's darker. What do you think? Let me know. Um, I love coloring hair. It's my favorite thing to do with hair. So it was just really exciting. Anyway, the first set that I got is from a brand called Color Track Tools, which is a brand that I bought a lot of things from because they're one of my favorite brands. And... I've never seen it anywhere but Sally's, but I'm sure they probably sell it elsewhere. Anyway, they had this really cool set. It's called the Color Track Caddy. And I just thought it was like really cool. Anyway, I saw this there before and I thought it was really interesting. And then I, I didn't know. And then there was a girl at my school who had this set and she was like, oh my god, it's so cool. And I'm like, it's so cute. And she's like, go buy it. Go buy it now. You won't regret it. So I went and I bought it and I don't regret it. It's amazing. Basically, <clears throat> let me show you what it comes with. It's a great deal. First, it comes with three tin bowls. Tin bowls are basically just like those hair dye bowls you put the color in. There's three. There's black, neon pink, and yellow. And they each have a handle, and there's like a little measury thing in the bottom of each one. And they're just plastic, so they're washable and everything. It also comes with three matching brushes, and the brush heads are actually rounded, which are I haven't really seen that much of so I'm actually really interested to see how these work and so there's a black one a pink one and a yellow one so if you're using like multiple colors you don't have to guess like oh my gosh which brush went to which bowl now you can like know for sure and they're all color coded and they're so cute I love these and the handles of these are awesome because they're like kind of jelly so they're easier to hang on to like how many times have you been dyeing someone's hair and you just drop the brush a million but with this it's like so easy to hang on to it's amazing <laughs> I love these so far and I haven't even used them yet and then finally it comes with this, with this little stand I haven't exactly figured out how to use it yet but basically you can put all three of those tint bowls on this at once and they can just be like standing there and then if you have to move them and you have one hand you can just like grab it and you can move it and you can set it on a little surface and it's so cool if you have like a tight space and oh my gosh and they're so cute and this whole set was only like $12, which is a great deal because I've never seen a stand before. Temples are normally like two to three, sometimes $5 each. And then the brushes are usually at least a dollar or two each. So basically I got a deal with a free stand and they're super cool. I've never seen any quite like these. I also got some more tint bowls and brushes and then I'll get on to the other color things that I got and I've been rambling forever so I'm gonna try to hurry so I got um, just a regular color track brand which is the same brand as that little tint bowl by itself this one has like a really big edge so again easy to hold on to you can slip it onto something it has like the little rivets in here so you can wipe off excess dye and it's like a translucent pink I just thought it was super cute and it was on sale for I think like two dollars and I just I had to have it Plus I wanted a cheaper bowl like this so that if I had to do bleach or like black dye or some crazy ass ugly color, I wouldn't want it to like stain my plastic one. So I just got like a little crapple one. <clears throat> also Ion was having a really good deal. Um, if you bought one of their tint bowls, you got one of their tint brushes for free. And I love their tint bowls. My mom has these and I really like these. So they only had one color in stock is purple but it has a cute little handle on it and it pours which is what I like because none of the other ones pour and this one does so that I liked it also has like a measuring thing in the bottom and it's smaller so if you're not using as much dye you don't have to like scrape it off does that make sense at all I don't even know I don't know but basically I just don't have one quite like this they're all a little bit different and this was only like $2 and there was a coupon hanging up right next to them to get the free tint brush from them and it's kind of rounded and I know it's still in the packaging but just like a regular old tint brush. This was like $2 but I got it for free. It's way too good of a deal. It's way too good of a deal to pass up. You can never have enough tint brushes. I also bought three more of the Color Track brand ones. I did. Um, I don't know. They're exactly the same. There's like a translucent pink to match the bowl. And I also got a translucent purple. And the reason why I bought two of these is because I actually plan on cutting these. Because they told us at school, like, you can take these and you can cut them into different designs. And when, when you put the dye on, it'll look really cool. So I'm going to, like, Google some pictures or something or YouTube it and see what I can find. Because I want to cut these in, like, unique ways. But these were, like, $2 a piece. And I also got this cool one from Color Track. It's, like, a translucent clear and it's really thin 
and it's like an angled brush. I have never seen one quite like this, and neither has my mom, who's a cosmetologist. So that was really cool. I can't remember if this was 79 cents or 99 cents, but either way, it was less than a dollar. Had to and then I also just got this Sally brand one. It's just black, but it's thinner, but it's the same like flat top. It's just not as wide as the other ones. So I don't know. I thought it'd be nice to have a different size. And that was like a dollar <laughs> or something like that. I also got some more things from Color Track, and then I'm almost done. I have six more things. So they have these really cool gloves with Color Track people. And they are the black reusable latex gloves. And they're just, you know, black latex. These are the medium size. They also have small and large. And I asked the lady there if she knew how many times you could reuse them because it doesn't say in the packaging. But she said she had a pair and she used them like 30 times before they wore out, which I thought was amazing. Because they were only like $2. And then a pack for $2 is like three pairs. So amazing deal. They also came in a pack of six for I think like $5. But I wanted to see how I liked them before I got even more in case I hated them. I got the Color Track Color Beaker, which is just like a little clear beaker, and you can fill it up with, um, what is that stuff called? Oh, I can't think of it. Dang it. Activator? I think it is activator. <laughs> activator, and you can like pour it out and whatever you need to measure. So that was like two bucks. Useful to have. And then I bought two really cool things. I bought the Color Track tube key. I wanted a tube key forever anyway, but this was the only one I could find in that store. And it was only like a dollar, so I just got it. Basically a tube key, you just put it on a tube of hair dye and like turn it like a key and the dye just comes right out so easy. So much better than squeezing those metal tubes and like cutting yourself. I hate those. Um, then I got the Color Track Tools Whisk, which is just like a little whisk. So cute. And you can use it to like mix dye together or applicator. No, not applicator. I can't think of what it's called. Oh my god, activator. I keep wanting to say applier, but activator together. And it's just really cool. I've never seen one before. My mom hasn't either, so I thought that was interesting. And, oh, I lied. I have four more things. And I also got just a couple little, like, comey type things. I got this set of the Crest Professional Long Pins things. <laughs> they're just like little combs. They're like metal rat tail combs or plastic. They're the extra long ones. They were on sale for like I think $2.99 and they're normally like five bucks and it's a good deal because since they are metal they're really good for parting hair when you dye it. They're also really good for um, folding foils and things like that. Since they were on sale I thought they'd just be a great thing to have because I'm trying to build my kit and eventually I'll need them. I also found this brush cleaner it doesn't have a, oh yeah it does, Hair Art is the brand, but it's just like a, a hairbrush cleaner. It just looks like a little, it almost looks like a vacuum cleaner head, but basically it just takes the hair out of hairbrushes, like you brush the brush and the hair comes out. I'm like, oh my god, ingenious. And it was like $2, so I just thought I'd try it. And finally I got two neon combs, because lord knows they were so cute. These were each 79 cents, which now I've realized is a ripoff because they have a whole box set full of like neon combs, like 10 rat tails and 10 of these for like $6. I'm like, man, I did not see those or else I would have got them. But anyway, I got this neon green plastic rat tail comb. This is by the brand Tool Structure. I thought it was so cute. And then I just got a styling comb that's neon pink from the same brand. And I just thought they were so cute. And I love these and my mom loves them and she wants them now too. But... This was the last pink one, so I had to get it. Yay! So I've been talking for like 20 minutes, but that is my huge Sally's haul. I hope you guys liked it. I'm sorry I've been MIA. I want to do some cosmetology school vlogs, but I feel like that would be highly frowned upon. Oh, I'm cold. And thank you guys for listening to me. Bye, guys. And when I leave pictures of my whole haul down there if you want to check it out. And I miss y'all, and I promise I will do a paranormal vlog next. Bye!